Hey, Jonathan, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Um, this season, you're uh, introducing another center back partner with Milos uh, Dejanic coming in. You were in the same position as him in 2017 about adjusting to Major League Soccer. What is a piece of advice you would give Milos when he joins the team about that adjustment? Uh, get all the information he needs. Uh, of course, it's going to be day to day. We're going to be here to help him. Um, I have watched a couple of his games with the national team. You, you, you can see he commands, you know, uh, his back line. And uh, he's going to be a great piece for us. So, you know, we're going to be there. We're going to be available for him and, you know, help him to adapt to the league as soon as possible. <clears throat> Next, we'll go to Jacob Myers, followed by Pat Murphy. Hey, Jonathan, how are you, man? Doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty well. Did you, I think when we last talked, you said you and your wife wanted to travel the country. Did you get to do that at all? Oh, so because the national team call up came, we couldn't do that, but uh, we still have that on our list and uh, we will we will do it uh, whenever we get the chance. Yeah, good, good. Um, hey, Caleb's talked a lot to us about being flexible, playing in different formations. Yeah. Um, just do you, do you think that is going to, I guess, not just help the team create more chances, score more, but will be kind of a, a good change of pace, uh, a good kind of fresh look for this team? Oh, yeah, for sure. Because uh, having two or three systems always helps the team. So, you know, we, we're working a lot on, on this new formation the coach has and the technical staff has introduced to us. And uh, we are uh, we're happy about it because, you know, sometimes in, in games you need to do some in-game adjustments and change of formation and all that. So we need something different. And, you know, uh, so far it's been very good. Uh, we played a couple of friendly games in preseason with this new information. So I believe it's going to help us along the line. The next we'll go to Pat Murphy. We still have time for plenty of questions. So click raise hand if you would like one. Hey, Jonathan. Good to see you. Hope the off season went well. <clears throat> um, speaking of the. Yeah, thanks. Um, speaking of the, the other center backs, um, obviously Josh is back, but you're adding two experienced guys in and Jalil and Milos. I know not everyone's in camp yet, but what do you think the competition is going to be like at that position? And how does that maybe change some things for the team on the back line? Um, healthy competition is always good for a team, not just the back line uh, or across board. So it's going to be an interesting season for us, a challenging season. And, uh, you know, like I said, good competition is always good for the team. So, um, they know the game already, but, you know, they need to also know this club, know, you know, what the team is about and, you know, do their best for the team. So these type of competitions are always welcome and, you know, we need to embrace it and help each other grow. <clears throat> Thank you, Jonathan. Next, we'll go to Tyler Fisher of Cross America, followed by Jacob Myers. Uh, Jonah, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time out today. Um, looking kind of ahead to the uh, Carolina Challenge Cup, uh, ultimately you guys have dominated ever since you, you joined. Looking at this year, is that kind of the same mindset? I know Porter said he's looking at it like a tournament. Um, wanted to know what your thoughts are since you've been through a couple of these already. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, we're still in the uh, preseason phase, but at the same time, you know, playing against MLS clubs and USL clubs, you know, the competition is always tough. So we need to take a game after game and, you know, make sure that whatever the coaches and, and the uh, technical staff uh, want to see us do in the new formation, you know, we make sure we, uh, whatever we're training, we execute it in, in these games, you know, that's how we grow, that's how we uh, build the chemistry, you know, build the bond on the field with, with uh, the new teammates. So we're going into this tournament very strong as we've always done and, and hopefully we get to win it again. Our next question will go to Jacob Myers. And if you would like a question after that, click raise hand. 
Jonathan, I wanted to kind of know about your, if any, pre-existing relationship with Yaya Boa, and, and if you mm -hmm. kind of pitched him on on this team, he kind of alluded to it. So I'm curious what your pitch was. Um, I've known Yao for quite some time now. I actually met him when he was a teenager, maybe, in the Right to Dream Academy in Ghana. And then uh, a couple of years later, we met in the national team. So I've been watching most of his games wherever he, he plays. And uh, so September call-up, I went then and uh, he was talking to me about uh, his team and all that. So I also started talking to him about what we are doing with our club, you know, building a new training facility where uh, it's not just me saying it, but it's one of the best in the world. Uh, I told him about that. I told him, hey, we built a new stadium as well. And I was like, hey, you know, it would be great for you to kind of like come into this league. And then he was like, man, you know, um, I really want to experience that one day. So we left national team, we went back to our clubs and then uh, Columbus actually started working on him. They said, hey, do you know this guy? And I'm like, yeah, I know him. I played with him in the national team. I've known him for uh, some time now. So I, I was glad that Columbus actually contacted him to bring him on board and then now it's it's a reality so happy to have him here and you know hopefully he gets going as soon as possible and what, and what kind of player can fans expect of him um i don't want to say much but you guys need to expect uh a lot of uh, quality plays from from him i don't want to put a, a lot of you know expectations on his sure. shoulders already he's just you know here to help the team uh any way possible so a great left foot, um, you know, he gets a couple of goals, provides a couple of assists. So I'm just going to let him do the talking on the field. Thank you, Jonathan. And final question is to Pat Murphy. Uh, Jonathan, you were asked by Jacob about kind of the, the variations. I know you guys were looking at the three center back look last year towards the end of the season. Just how do you feel like that went and how do you feel like you can sort of build on that if that's something you guys use this season. Um, that formation is is very flexible, and of course we we always work on it before we use it in games. So uh, that is one of the systems the coaches and the technical staff looking at. So if we see what the opponent is doing, I believe with the depth we have in the back line, we can adjust and, and play that formation. So, so um, it doesn't matter the personnel, we just need to go out there, perform for the team and, and help the team win games. Thank you, Jonathan. This concludes the segment with Captain Jonathan Mensah.